welcome to Music Theory 101. 101, and we got Leah. And I'm Justin. Today we're going to be talking about the top 10 artists, and then we're going to go over to the corner. The corner. The corner. The corner. And we're going to talk about the top 10 songs slash albums. So, first off, for a popular artist back in the 30s, we got Bean Crosby. Rudy Bales. Al Johnson. Oswell sisters. And Janet McDonald. And Nelson Eddy. And Robert Johnson. Bam. Yep, they were all cool and interesting people. So uh, what, what kind of style do you think they all play? They were mostly blues, a little country, bluegrass. It's not bluegrass, but it pretty cool. Oh yeah, it was. Well, I'll meet you over in the corner. During the 30s, there was a depression. Lots and lots of depression. They just... Sadness. Like, depression. Um, that's really mean. No, there was just a lot of economic issues and then the war. I mean, no, the war brought them out of the depression, actually. So, war can be a good thing. War is actually really good for countries. Because mm -hmm. it brings them out yeah, of for a... For certain countries. Yeah, I guess it all depends where you live. Um, but also during the 30s, there was a lot of cool songs. Um, like, we got a top 10 list right here, coming your way. Song number one, In the Mood by Glenn and Miller. We did that song for a jazz band once, and I don't personally, I, I really messed it up. Um, that was the year Eric um, C. Yes, Coddington. Connington Cheese. Um, Connington, uh, he got yelled at by one of the judges at the festival. Yeah. It's, a, it's a groovy song. It is. It's kind of got the sailor touch to it. Weird. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you want to see song number two? Mm -hmm. Song number two is God of Us. Ha ha. Home sweet home. Um, yep, that, uh, th there's a lot of versions of it, but this one's a really classy version. It's, uh, it was by Kate Smith. Very patriotic. It has a nice old, old ring to it, kind of like when you listen to a radio of tunes. Um, third song, Over the Rainbow by Judy Garland. Um, it, it's a slow song, and it was in a, in a really cool classic movie called... The Wizard of Oz. Yep, and who sang it? Judy Garland. No, no, like oh, the movie. Yeah, Dorothy. Yeah. Yes. Number four. Song number four. That's Sing, Sing, Sing by Benny Goodman. Yep, I believe that's another jazz song we were working on this year. I'm not. Do, did we actually perform it? No. No, we didn't. Oh, well, we've we've been practicing. I don't know what's going on with it, but um, it makes you want to shake your butt, and 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 the song's in a lot of popular movies like. And cool. It's probably in a bunch of other movies. Um, song number five, uh, "Silent Night" by Bean Crosby. Um, I don't. I personally, I don't really like this uh, this guy's version of the song, but um, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, that song brought a lot of people to life through the spirit of Christmas. Song number six. That's Minnie the Moocher by Cat Calloway. Oh, that's a groovy, groovy, groovy song. Mm -hmm. He dances like Michael Jackson. He was like the first Michael Jackson. It's good stuff. And it tells a story about a girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. Song number seven, Strange Fruit by Billy Holiday. It's pretty messed up. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's a creepy it's song, in my opinion. I don't like it. You don't want to listen to it. However, it's playing right now, so. Um, song number eight? Um, the Crossroads by Robert Johnson. Robert Johnson's a cool guy. He supposedly sold his soul to the devil, too. So he could do his own the crossroads. Yeah, next thing you know, he's in the top ten. Number eight on the list. Um, there's a big conspiracy about that. Um, and yeah, the number number nine, um, 
Moon Knight Serenade by Glenn Miller. Glenn Miller made it on the, on the list twice. Number one and number three. Good guy. Yeah, that's all. That's a kind of song you want to like snap your foot to and, and what else? It's it's sort of slow dance. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's a it's an instrumental. It's the kind of song you can just relax on the porch in your rocking chair with a with a drink, a non-alcoholic drink. Uh, it's got to be school appropriate. And, and why holding this drink in the rocking chair on your porch on a nice sunny nice day, you're holding your shotgun. Because we gotta remember we live up we live back in the day when we got to protect yourself. So yeah, that kind of song. Um. Yeah, so I believe that that's it for our hard talk. Yeah. And that pretty much wraps it up for our show. Is there anything else? We got, we, we got the, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, our sources. Can't forget our sources. Google. 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 It's a nice search engine. There's a bunch of other stuff, but we'll list that in the credits. But Google was a new source. Oh, well, actually, it wasn't her main source. She did she did all the research. Yeah. <sighs> Till next time.